Hey, what's up boys and toys? I know it's been a little while since I have uh, recorded anything. It's been a little crazy, man, between work and family and just living life. Uh, we ended up, had brought the four-wheeler into the shop from when we sunk that thing in the ever-ending sand, you know. Uh, we got that back, so we'll be doing some ride videos coming up here shortly. Um, in the meantime, we've got a few changes. You should see behind me, I got a new vehicle. Uh, I had a Dodge Ram. It was older, but I had nothing but problems with that thing, so I went back to a Ford. Got an F-350. 2014. And I don't have it unlocked at the moment, but... See, it's a Lariat trim. It's pretty good. Nice and comfortable. I'll do a video on that later on. If you guys are interested, let me know. Uh, but we're going to talk about our new camper. We used to have a pop-up. And we did get rid of the pop-up and upgraded ourselves here. And now we just put that topper, let's see, I think it's getting it. Yeah. We put that topper on the slide yesterday and we had the whole roof resealed because we didn't notice that there was some water coming in uh, on the corner of the slide. I apologize if the footage is not the best because I'm using a new, um, or a selfie stick which I've never used before. And I got like a leveler. So obviously we're not camping right now. This is just in our yard. We just had some service done to it yesterday. So, um, so I'll do a video when we're camping as well. Uh, there we go. Get some lights on here. So of course, one looks a little foggy. Hang on. It's very, very humid outside. There we go. Be. Oh, that's totally better, I guess. Uh, so it's very, very humid out here. It's actually going to rain here soon. Um, and it, obviously it's nice and dry in that house. It's cooking in here. It's 80 degrees Fahrenheit for all of you guys in the United States that are watching us. This is our bathroom here. We've got a nice big shower, toilet, and we always keep a towel there for when we get out of the shower. Just to step on. Give me a little toy this coffee. Guess I should have came in here first and uh, opened it all up. That's the shower there. Not bad. And we upgraded the faucet. Get the light, you know, just like any other camper, and get the nice poop vent up here with the fan. So that always works because. If you don't turn that on, let me tell you, it stinks like shit throughout the whole camper. Back here, we got, um, that's a dog crate kind of thingy, majiggy that we use. And the kids' closet's a mess, but again, I didn't like do any special cleaning. This is just how it is. We got TVs up there that one mounts over here and another one mounts outside. Pretty large beds. We got a bed over here. And we got a giant nut. Which turns into a bed. And then, I'm not sure. Oh, it's still pretty stacked in here. Pretty dark. I need to add a light, excuse me, to the pantry. Because it's dark in there. So I'll add a light. But yeah, we got a lot of snacky crap in there. We do go camping again. Uh, here in, I think, two weeks. Or sooner. This is a camper here. Um, the dining room area. This, there's another TV that goes outside. So this dining room area over here turns into another bed. Obviously, if you have a camp, you know that. Uh, the couch turns into like a full-size bed there. And then we have the TV, which rotates. goes into the master bedroom. We got some chairs in here we didn't put um, under our bed yet. Uh, we used that for a party that we had for the... I don't even know what it was. Not the fourth. It was last weekend. Um, we got the oven. We got a stove. We got a microwave. We have the sink. A bunch of storage. So that's so where we keep a lot of our soaps, chemicals, and typical things you leave under a kitchen sink in a house. Same thing over here. We have all utensils and cookware. As well as all the things that came with the camper in that bucket down the bottom. You know, 
first aid, a bunch of plates and cups and bowls. Microwave, the fridge is empty at the moment. Um, well, we do have freeze pops, but that doesn't really need anything uh, to be out. So it just refreezes as we go. Same thing, the fridge is empty for now. Uh, we do have a nice AC unit right there. And I should help out the lighting more. We do have that nice little skylight there. Uh, it also has a radio. I think every RV has a radio. Um, so you can listen to music. Inside, outside, there's different speakers and stuff like that. So the speaker's outside. This is the massive bedroom. We have a hers and a his. Nice big shelf up there and there's outlets underneath so we can charge our phones. The bed is definitely not made. Things are all over it. Um, we do have doors, so we have privacy in here, another door, and this TV, like I said, rotates in. We do have another vent up here, as well as the windows that open and close. We have been super happy so far with this camper, man. It's great. Uh, the door is even on a hinge. that it's pretty cool and then what we typically do is you run Roku um, we run Roku on <clears throat> all three TVs and it keeps everybody happy I mean we don't really watch a lot of TV unless we are um, you know camping at night, you know, getting the kids ready for bed and coming in here and whatnot. We do have a Level Mate Pro that we added to it. Definitely helps keeping it level from the truck side. You don't have to do anything else. I'll do a more in-depth video if you guys are interested on it. Uh, pros, cons, and things. We also have an outdoor kitchen right here, which is not unlocked at the moment. But there's a mini fridge, a sink, and a stove in there. And it pulls out. We have our awning which I actually just put in. Oh, look at that. I turned the porch light on by accident. Uh, and then we have a TV mount here. And we got hookups here. So there's power. And that's like cable if you want it. That is cable if you want it. And then this is from the new slide topper. Bunch of storage over there. It's where I keep all my electrical, my tools, and all that. And then on the other side is more storage. Uh, which is where I keep all the plumbing stuff. So, you know, the shit pipe and all that. Here's the control board. And we'll turn that on. Thanks for tuning in. Keep it real.